Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to do a live reaction to the crowning of the Miss Supernational 2021. I mean the competition is actually starting, It's they're still singing for the introduction I believe and the candidates are, you know, parading on stage and we will just go ahead and highlight the important moments and parts of the competition and I'm super excited so we'll see and I'm very excited on who will win Miss Supernational 2021. Okay, so the first cut is about to happen. We will now be they will now be announcing the top twenty four. And okay, let's start. With, I'm excited. Um, first, with four complementary titles, uh, that they'll are be starting with included. the sub competitions. Top twenty four. The first spot selection is the winner of the Miss Supernational Supermodel that has been chosen earlier. Supermodel is the the so winner of Supermodels. There were Miss five of them that were announced. Top model is Miss Panama. Panama. So Panama. <laughs> Darily Santos, she won Supramodel yes, from the Americas. Well deserved. Next two spots go to Miss Supra Chat winners. Next are the winners of Supra Chat. If you have watched my reviews, I have Venezuela and Kenya. Miss Venezuela! Yes! Well deserved. I loved it. And she's my predicted winner. For group two, this is really an open two, competition, but my winner Miss was Trinidad and Tobago. Miss Trinidad. Yo, wow. Perfect. Janelle Thongs. Next is the influence influencer challenge. So the final three were, if I remember correctly, we have China, Iceland, and Kenya. So one of them will proceed to the top 24 by winning the title of Supra Influencer Challenge winner. Miss Influencer is Kenya! Yo! Oh, my God. oh my god, I'm so happy for Kenya. I mean, wow. So far, the four finalists that has been called are all in my top 24. And oh wow, I'm so happy for Fidelia. She truly deserved that. And to those people who don't didn't know, um, there were ten finalists who competed in the last round of the influencer challenge. And then from those ten, they will be judged based on the entries that they sent. And from the last influencer challenge, the winner will be picked. So Kenya got that spot. Wow. So we already have four ladies. We have the advertisement right now and only 20 spots left so far i'm very happy this is a very very good start so far oh my gosh i truly enjoyed this we're back and we're now going to announce the remaining 20 ladies so far i have four over four in my prediction 20 to go and it is miss romania romania michaela siornea i mean she wasn't in my list but quite expected Miss Heidi. Oh wow. I love Heidi. I mean she deserves to get a placement. So I'm so happy that she wasn't ignored. Belgium. Belgium is like the favorite prior to the finals because she's got a lot of special awards. I mean dominating the sub competitions. Miss India. Oh Avriti. I mean, I'm not really having that much of an excitement because oh, Rahul is there. Because I feel and like the next lady to join the it's expected. Twenty four is Miss Ecuador. Ecuador. Oh wow, Justine Cruz. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing to see. It's so amazing to see the jam. <clears throat> the theater or the whatever, whatever you call it, jam packed. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Ivana Constanza, also another expected placement. She's in my top five. Ooh, moment as of this, as of, as of this time. Thailand. Thailand. Queenie Benjarat, also in my list. Mr. Thailand is so happy. Congratulations. It's so great to see these men watch what men watching as well. Is Miss 
Czech Republic! Yes, Czech Republic. She's also in my list. Angelina Kostyshin. Kostyshin. Miss Puerto Rico. Ooh, Carla Gilfu. Occupying the 13th spot from Puerto Rico. She's my second runner-up in my final prediction. And wow, she's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for... Spot number 14 Liz. is for... Friends! Fra wow! I mean, I like her, although this is the first wow moment. I mean, I like her, France, Judith, Rumat, Lahua, but I wasn't impressed with her preliminaries, but wow! It's so great to see her here. Indonesia! 15th goes to Indonesia. Jihan, of course, another expected placement because she's great and she's stunning tonight. And Oki is so proud of her. The top 24 and it's number 16. Netherlands! Yay! Suelia is here. Suelia da Silva Antonio. She is half Angolan. Representing diversity on stage. Okay. Spot number Fewer 17. And places are left. So far, I have 14 out of 16, up, which is good. To join the top 24 is Miss South Africa. Yeah, Tato. Dr. Tato Masehele. I love her hair much, much better. Congratulations. This is her best styling tonight. I heard the name just now, so let me repeat. The next one to join the top it's 24 Poland. is Miss Poland! <laughs> Natalia Balichka. I mean, our home country girl. I mean, she deserves a place. Look at that face. I mean, no one can ignore that. I mean, wow, it's so amazing to see Poland so jam-packed for Miss yeah, Supernational. Thank you so much for your and support to the they're not Thank just you. highlighting it's certain long areas. Long. I mean, all spaces uh, are next occupied. Contestant. Next up is Miss Japan. Yay! Wow, Japan. Quite a surprise, Emery Shimizu. But she's okay. I'm okay with her placement. Congratulations, um, Namibia, I still need and Namibia to complete my top left. five. Just five, actually. Just five. Five so, spots left. Let's move on. The next lady to join the top 24 is... Namibia. Is Namibia! Yo! Shanik Rabe. I love her. She's so beautiful. She did well in the preliminaries. She's my first runner-up in my final prediction. Just uh, four more. That's Miss Peru! Oh! Solange Hermosa from Peru. Another expected placement. El Salvador! Oh, wow! This is what you call a surprise. I did not see that coming. Although she was my winner in my Supra chat for episode two, but wow! So many wonderful ladies. We would love all of them. Um, Brazil and Philippines are missing. And just two more places to complete my top six. Next up is Miss Philippines. Dindi. Um, I think the last spot needs to go to Brazil. Is it together, if you don't mind? Brazil! Miss Brazil! Oh, I am so happy because my top five is complete. And if I remember correctly, I believe that my top 12 are all in as well i'm so happy and now based on my records here i have 20 over 24 and that is amazing congratulations to all aspiring and amazing congratulations to the ladies well deserved i have to check who didn't make it in my final prediction oh my gosh bahamas didn't make it Oh my gosh, China didn't make it. That's another, wow, quite shocked. 
for China. Oh wow, I cannot no believe China isn't here. The competition, they will National designers please. Okay, so what's basically happening here is this is the format of the top 24 where I actually like it where the ladies were presented and it's great that their profiles are being revealed it's like it's not just about beauty but we get to see we get to know who they are if the pageantry is removed so it's great and aside from that they also get to walk using the design from the designer in their respective countries which is really great envelope has become a silent oh my period. gosh they oh, will now announce evening, the top so 12 have the next one please and this is actually oh my gosh because half of them is going to be eliminated i can feel my heart baby i can feel your heart baby. me too yeah. thank you so much let me help you open it. You go. Belgium! Miss Belgium! Wow. Congratulations! They really, really like Belgium. I mean, Belgium is okay, but I don't know. She's not really hyping that much to me. Dominican Republic, of course. Netherlands! Yay! Wow! Swelly is in my top 12! Power! Oh, wow. They definitely did it. Venezuela! Yay! This is the country that I'm waiting to be called. It's Namibia! Yay! My first runner-up, Shani Krabe, Miss Namibia. Beautiful. Namibia. And India! Yay! Avriti is in the top 12. Five to go. Puerto Rico! My second runner up, it's amazing how they are being called in a, in that lineup. Is Miss Dindy! Dindy! She was great. Okay, so Brazil is missing in my top five again. We need to call Just Brazil. To go. Romania! Wow! I mean, she's beautiful. I mean, she deserves it. She's really, really beautiful tonight. Oh, wow. Tato. Way to go, Tato. I'm so happy. Superfans have been voting for their favorites for the last few weeks. And now we can announce their democratic Indonesia, I believe. Okay. The next lady to make it to the top 12 and to Jihan, I mean the Indonesia super fans is Miss Indonesia I mean quite expected but well deserved um, I was actually recording my commentaries for the swimsuit but then I realized that I just don't need to anymore I'll just go ahead and proceed with the evening gown because there's so much more to say and when it comes to the swimsuit, I believe most of them did it, did well. And the first one is Belgium. Wow. She changed her gown to a Wow, she looked really, really beautiful. Like a model, actually. And she looked young. Oh my gosh, Belgium could actually make it in the top five. For Dominican Republic, Joanna Constanza, I am so glad that she kept the yellow gown that she wore. It is much, much better. And that turn gives me Diana Mendoza vibe, Miss Universe 2008. Beautiful. India also kept her gown. Good decision because that, oh, a little slip there, but she still did well. My gosh, good thing she didn't fail. Indonesia, Jihan, let's see the gown. I'm very excited. It's so nice that other ladies are really cheering for the other candidates. Wow! This is what they really prepared for Jihan. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, the face! Wow! Namibia! Oh, she also changed her gown to a white gown. Netherlands, wow! I really, really love Svelia. I am so happy that she made it in the top 12. Oh my gosh, Dindi changed her gown. I love the effect of the other, the one-sided sleeve. It looked great. Oh my gosh, could she be in the top five? 
next we have Poland. Oh, Poland changed into a pink gown. She is just a sweetheart, super beautiful, like a doll. But it didn't really give that much impact on me. Puerto Rico is keeping her gown. I love that because, excuse me, because that gown was just so beautiful. She looked like a living doll. And it, I love how it completely emphasized her figure. It's just so, so beautiful. Romania. I actually thought she changed her gown. Let me see. I'm not really a fan of the of that neck design of her gown. Thato is wearing something beautiful. I'm so happy to see Rwanda cheering for all of the ladies coming out. It's so sweet of her. Oh my gosh, I will not be shocked if South Africa makes it into the top five. This is really the Werner effect coming out. Venezuela also changed her gown and it's weird because both of South Africa and her have fringes on their gown. Oh my gosh, I love Venezuela. This is the la this is the last cut and oh my gosh, put Venezuela in the top five. Oh my gosh, I believe they're going to announce a top five now and this is like the most exciting part of the competition. You don't need to wear one. Because what I've said, the previous round was so open. The supernatural crowd still belongs to Antonia Borsell, but oh my the judging gosh. panel are just about to decide who will make it. This envelope comes The envelope is coming, and I am super excited, but nervous at the same time. Oh my gosh. There's going to be the... Oh my gosh. Ivan, I was born ready, but to be honest with you, I can feel my own heartbeat right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, I would love to keep all of them on stage, like, you know, forever. Just look how beautiful and amazing they are, all of them. Are we going to open the envelope right now? No. Yes. Beautiful and a little nervous, I suppose. Proszę Państwa, wracamy już za chwilę z decyzją jury. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back so with the decision of jury. Seriously? And it's loading. We are now about to announce the top five, which took too long, and I got hungry because. Oh, Janique talked a lot, but she's okay. It's just, it's too long. Oh my gosh. Just give me Venezuela in the top five and I'm good. And we're here on the stage with all the contestants waiting for the announcements and definitely supporting each other. Are you ready to open it up? Yes. Let's do it. But first, let's recall the sponsors. Oh my gosh. We have first to open it up. Right. Yes, and then we'll do it just in a second. Just in a second. Do you need help? Who do you think is that? I am more nervous than them. Everything should look so nervous. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The top five of Miss Supernational 2021. Oh my god. Can I go first? Go first. No. The first one to join the top five is Venezuela. Dominican Republic! Wow! She did it! What an exciting moment! Joanna Constanza! Oh my gosh, Venezuela! Congratulations! Next up to join the top five is Miss Namibia! Woo! <laughs> Shanique Rabe, I'm so happy! Wow! <coughs> I'm sorry. And then next one. Um, I was choked. Back to back top five for the Namibia. Is, ladies and gentlemen, South Africa! Wow! I told you she's going to make it in the top five. I mean, Werner just pulled another Zozibini magic here. So many emotions. Wow. wow. Oh and my gosh, just Venezuela! Just it. Okay, next up is Miss. 
Puerto Rico! Woo! Oh my gosh, one more spot left. Congratulations! Oh my gosh, why do you have to... Oh. We Oosh. have one more lady to join the top five. Just one, who do you think she is, huh? Let me kill you! Venezuela. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's say it together. Miss... Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was the country that I was waiting for! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You, Miss Supernatural Organization, is giving me a heart attack! Heart attack! I mean, wow! I got four out of five, and I'm so happy because South Africa is there! Wow! Friends, we can't hear you. You this almost gave me a heart attack. I am so happy with this top five because this is going to be a head-to-head -head battle for question and answer. Wow. So, my heart. These five women, oh. These five oh my gosh. I got four out of five in 2019. I got four out of five this of year. I am one, so happy. The final decision still has to be made. So the judging panel uh, has got a few questions. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, would you repeat what would I like to ask him or tell him? Good. Yes, when you have she chance, didn't tell you the question, didn't ask the question properly. With the leader of your country, but remember, you have just only thirty minutes. Okay. Oh, thirty minutes. If I were to meet okay. with the leader of the country, coming from a third world country and seeing how he handled the COVID pandemic, how wonderfully he communicated oh, so with our nation. We have 11 ethnic groups, so communication is not always easy. How he handled everything. I would love to get some advice from him for my journey forward. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Namibia. What an amazing answer. She's so beautiful. Thank you and very so sweet. much. Let's move on to the next question. The answer was good. Zinkovich, can we please move on with your question? What is the biggest lesson you have learned during the global pandemic, and how do you plan to apply it to your life moving forward? That question again. Can you repeat the question, please? What is the biggest lesson you have learned during the global pandemic, and how do you plan to apply it to your life moving forward? Thank you for your question. I think the biggest lesson I have learned during this global pandemic is to be more close to my family and my loved ones. I have learned that I have to value them and I have to appreciate every moment they have by my side. And I take that with me. For she's the rest giving, of my life. she's delivering her answer in that. And growing up and also passing it to the other generations. Keep it short. I will appreciate whoever is by my side, my family, my friends, the children around me. Keep it short. Everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, I really love her answer. She's giving that dramatic uh, feel, which is good, which is really, really good. Yeah. But that was kind of too long. Hola. This is precious. Uh, Puerto you have Rico. Enough money, and the power to make. Uh, global charity project what do you focus on that's a good question thank you so much for your question i would definitely focus on creating awareness about the importance of mental health mm. me myself i have been through many struggles with my mental health and i know it's not easy when you go through something so hard so i would advocate for the importance of education regarding mental health because that is the basis of a healthy and good society. Thank you. Thank you, Puerto Rico. An amazing project. Thank you very it much. was good, to the next but it's just, it was good. So Monica left yes. I want to be positive so in my comments. Cyberbullying is affecting the mental health of the youth. Take this moment to share a message with a young boy or a girl that is being cyber bullied. Hmm. As a person who is also cyber bullied sometimes because of the industry that we're in, I would tell them to ignore it. Most bullies are going through a lot in their personal lives and are imposing the beliefs that they have about themselves 
on you. You should not believe the negative comments that you get on social media. You should understand that a person is hiding behind their own pain. So I think in order for youth to move forward in general, we should just she is so Understand focused, so composed, so confident, so smart. Nothing that goes on there is ever accurate. Thank you. Well so done, Tato. That was wow. so good. Wonderful answer. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, Valentina. Is from Andre to Miss Venezuela. Andre. Congratulations, Valentina. My question is: Climate change is one of the biggest challenges the world is facing. Why do you think we, as human beings, are not taking it more seriously? I don't believe, I don't think, or I don't know why we're not taking seriously this issue that's affecting millions of lives. I feel like there are many social issues like global warming or mental health that we should look at from a global citizen perspective. And what that means is being conscious of how each one of our decisions and actions has an impact in the lives of other people and the entire world. I think this past year has proved that that is true. Very and smart. I think that we need to make the decision to be more conscious and to cultivate that respect for the world and for other people in our everyday life. Thank that you. is my winner. Wow. I am so, so proud. Much. Regardless of what Thank happened you. with the result, that was a winning uh, answer. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous now. Final decision with 100 percent oh my gosh Did valentina i am so day? proud that was so good thank you thank you for your mission this envelope makes my heart beats faster oh my god Mine me too. too would you like to take it from me sure <laughs> and open let's not break the tradition it's so hard to predict on who will win but at this point, I'm happy. This is you such an amazing top five. The results. The most wanted. Namibia is about to cry too. Oh. Okay. The fourth okay. runner up is. In my prediction, it's Dominican Republic. No. Dominican Republic! Oh! Wow! I got that! It's my final prediction! Fourth runner up, Dominican Republic! Although she's amazing, I'm so happy for her. In my final prediction, third runner up is Brazil. So I'll give it to South Africa because she wasn't in my top five. I mean, I don't want that to finish third runner up, but for the sake of my prediction, I'll give her third runner up. Dominican Republic. So proud of that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Mr. Supranational 2019, Nate Sunkovic. Nate. Ah. And we're ready to know the name of Miss Supernational 2021, third runner up. And South this Africa? is Miss. Let's say it together. Miss Venezuela! Oh my gosh! Quite shocked. But she did well. I'm so happy still. Third runner up is a good achievement. So, congratulations, Valentina. I mean, I'm not sad. It was a, it was, it is a very good placement. Third one around, and this is a strong top three. What a nice, what emotions we are celebrating. Amazing, second one around is Puerto runner Rico runner because she is second one around in her prediction. I really don't want to because that means we are getting closer to the end. They're all beautiful. Yes. Oh my gosh. So. Let's do it. Will you do it for me? I will. Miss Supernational 2021. The second runner up. Second runner up is. Is. South Africa! Africa. Oh, wow! Puerto Rico and Namibia! 
Oh, that's so sweet. Congratulations, South Africa. I love Puerto Rico, but my gosh, I'm so happy for Shanique Rabe. I mean, she was able to reach as high as Yana in 2019. Wow, Congratulations. Team Namibia. Kudos to Team Namibia as well. They are amazing. First one up and a top two finish this time. Oh my gosh! Let's stand up, let's stand up. Don't sit down. I would be happy if any of these two win. I mean, Namibia was no, my first one up, Puerto Rico was my second one up. I'm happy. We'll know the verdict. Miss Supernational 2021 is Miss Namibia! Namibia. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Shani Krabbe! Oh my gosh! What a reason for celebration! Oh wow! I am so happy for her! And wow, Namibia! It's time for Africa! Our first country from Africa who won Miss Supranational! Oh, and I'm so happy because she was second in my this final prediction. This is the moment we've been waiting for this entire evening. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of Nigeria. her. Miss Supernational 2021, oh. Namibia! Oh my gosh, Team Namibia, oh my gosh, you are all amazing. First one up and now a winner. Well deserved. Oh, well, I'm, wow. this is, I'm about to end the video now so that I can be able to edit this video, upload it, and make some posts on my Instagram. But congratulations to the five ladies, five amazing, amazing women. Congratulations to our new Miss Supernational, Namibia, Shani Krabbe. I'm so happy. And Valentina, my predicted winner, thank you so much. That was a beautiful performance. Thank you for this evening. Thank you. Tomorrow, Polska for for the hospital.